Hi guys, today I'm gonna get back to the truck bed. So, this last truck video, I finished this second frame rail. I just gotta put that shock in. But I'm gonna figure out the wood and load up the old Prius to go pick her up. That'll be interesting. But yeah, here we go. Okay, just got back with the wood. Look at that, all of the Prius. Longer boards are 12 footers, shorter boards are eight. Prius took it like a champ, no issues. Now I'm gonna get this unloaded. Okay, got the frame back on there. Uh, still need to get the, the mounts for the bolts. Uh, I'm just gonna be actually drilling out hockey pucks. Figures the most Canadian thing I could do for the bed. Nice and cheap, they're about a buck 50 each. So drill those, mount this, and then I can start putting wood on. So after I got those pucks well drilled, I'm like, man, I, I really have to clean this place. It's a disaster. I won't be able to get anything done. I gotta have a place to cut the wood. So let's do that. Well, that was nice of the time lapse to stop, but here we are. Look at this. Less of a disaster. Still working on this MIG welder. Oh man. One day I'll have a video out. One day. So, the game plan. I'm going to put a piece of wood back here and then that will stop anything sliding forward into the back of the box back of the cab and then also yeah the uh, toolbox will stop anything else so I'm gonna figure out size for that and then uh, get that thing mounted Well, as you can see, it's a different day. It's cold again, and rainy, but I just got this guy in here. A lot of cuts. My time-lapse stopped working, but 
here we are. Yeah, so this should be clear sailing, you know, pretty much to the other side where I gotta do the exact same thing. So let's hope the time lapse works. Okay, I think that's it for today. Got that one all cut. I don't know if you can tell on video, tapers down at the end. So I'm gonna mess around with that another day, especially when I go to mount them. I definitely wanna leave a bit of, bit of gap, like an eighth inch gap between the boards. And then I'll just rip one of the boards down the middle or the board in the middle, just narrow it out, narrow it out a bit. But, yeah, we'll get back to this when it's not raining and terrible. Okay, started mounting some of these boards. And then uh, next I'm going to do backboard along the back there. I just put uh, these boards in. I'm going to mount it to those. And then I'm going to mount some, some of the boards to the actual frame. I think that'll be the best way so I'm not drilling a million holes into the bed, but I think it's going to look pretty good. I'll watch along. Well, my time lapse is keep cutting out. Got all the deck boards secured to the wood. I still have to secure the boards to the frame. I put the box in. I just set it in. I haven't mounted it yet. But uh, yeah, it's turning out like I envisioned. Now I just need to make the side rails, which I have the wood for. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I think at least. Okay, I think it's uh, side rail time. Well, there it is. I just finished up the wiring. Uh, side marker light, brake light. Two brake lights at the back. Um, I don't think I have any footage of these side rails going on, but I drilled a hole down there, and then uh, just like a D-ring. Easy to come apart when you want it to come apart. So they won't go flying. The uh, truck toolbox is mounted. I uh, just kinda got lazy, and I had some wood that was the same length. So I just put those in there, and then that'll brace across this so I don't have to worry about just two small bolts pulling against the aluminum. It's braced all the way across. I got rubber isolating it from the steel and then there's the bolts coming through. And then for the bed, I mounted some boards right to the frame and then other boards were mounted to boards that ran across and then mounted those twice. So I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Still have to mount the bumper. That only has a couple of bolts in it. Still need to do the mud flaps. I'm gonna mount it from that bar there down. So I'm not spraying everybody was when I drive by. But yeah, so she's sitting. It's definitely taking a while. Sadly I didn't get all the footage because I just kind of wanted to hammer it out. I'm sure you can understand. But, uh, 
yeah, it's placed into uh, the factory wiring there. I just got the pigtails from the junkyard, cut them, and then uh, ran them to these. What would be Jeep TJ lights or Jeep lights, but they're LEDs. I got them off of Amazon for about $60. And then the side markers are just, uh, I think I got like 30 of them. They're about like a buck a light or something. So if I have to replace them, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I always like these pins that I put in because that's always my biggest concern is, you know, you're driving down the road and hit a good, good couple bumps and you know goes flying and then you can also use them to mount hold stuff down to um, pretty much used all but a couple feet of wood so that's good nothing wasted I didn't run any wood from here to there I'm not really worried about small things coming in and out of here mainly using this to haul larger items like engines or transmissions or bulky items, plywood, drywall, so should be good.